have the iPad Air 11 inch M2, right? And I'm trying to set up multicam on here. There are a lot of videos on YouTube telling you that it works and it does work. It is a pain in the derriere to get it to work initially. Uh, as in a lot of typing, not complicated, but way more typing. I wished that there was a QR code you could just scan. So, all right, so I have three cameras here. This is the FX30, I've labeled it one. This is the FX30, I've labeled it two. And the A7R5 pointing to that, that point to the blue, and this point to the, the clip thing over there on the, on the left. All right, so I'm gonna set them up one by one. So the first thing you gotta do is turn on hotspot on your phone. That's if you're not in a place where you can all be on the same Wi-Fi. So typically you're gonna be out in the building somewhere. But if you're at home, it's easier. But if you are, if you are on a, uh, using Wi-Fi hotspot, then it could work, which is what I'm doing right now with my phone. Okay, so the first, once you turn on Wi-Fi hotspot on here, then you go to your camera, um, go down to internet, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi connect on, and go to access, hit OK, and go to access point, and that's where you look for your, your Wi-Fi hotspot. And so I have mine right there. I gotta enter the password, password for my hotspot. Once I enter the password, I hit OK, and it should connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot. All right, so once it's there, you think you're done, but you're not done because you got to go to the iPad and then make sure the iPad is connected to the same network, right? You also got to make sure you turn on um, phone control. So you go to um, control or remote shooting and make sure remote shooting function is on. And once you do that, you're on the screen, you gotta get to the, the access authentication info and you're gonna enter that username and password for the camera when you're connecting it. So on the iPad, hit the, the three menus here on the iPad, hit connect, I'm gonna hit okay I'm gonna do uh, searching for cameras. It should give me the option. Oh, and it pops right up. That's fantastic. Because I did it for the first one and it pops right up. And you hit connect. I'm gonna, see so then you have to enter the username and password that's on this screen here. And that's just for the camera. All right, once you enter the username and password, then the camera will pop up. And you do it for all three. So we'll do it for this one too. All right, so username and password has entered. All three cameras are now visible. All right, all three of them are visible. So if I go back to monitoring, you should see this app does not support the operation of still images. Okay, so I gotta change this to video. And now we can see all three cameras on here, which is fantastic. There is some lag, it looks like. There is some lag. There is some lag. It's smooth over here on the camera, but there's a little bit of lag, but not terrible. There should be more than enough to, um, awesome, to get uh, you to monitor things. All right. So there it is, and then you can you can tap one camera and open up some tools if you wanted to, right? Which is pretty cool. Let's do. I want to do. Let's do histogram and false color. Let's turn that on. False color. Then let's turn on the histogram. And I think that's pretty cool. Camera set live mission to screen check your camera settings. Okay, so that's a problem that is cutting out and cutting back in. It did say on the website that a wired connection is better, which I don't know how you do it defeats the purpose of having an app if I have to string wires from the camera to the to the um, camera to the tablet. All right, so let's see if we could. Go back 
to all three and all three of theirs. So if I select all three, let me see. This is the other function I was function I was interested in. If I could start recording on all three cameras simultaneously, right? So I'm gonna put that there so you can see it. Because that would be fantastic. I saw others do it. I mean, I still have to sync everything up um, with audio, but that's still awesome if you could do it. So let's see. And it starts. All three of them are recording. All three are recording. And stop. There's a slight delay with the sounds. I'm not sure if you could hear it. I don't think you can hear it, but let me try it again, see if you could hear it. All right, so starting is fine. All three start at the same time. Stopping. Okay, I guess that's fine. Stopping is okay. Starting on time is more important. All right, so if I did one, let's see if we can change some stuff. Say touch to focus. I'd have to turn up. Oh, it does change, look at that. That's awesome. And then go back to the other. I'm gonna get rid of this. And then go back to, let's use this one. And touch the focus here. All right, so that might be because I have a screen protector on this tab, this, this tablet. So. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. There's a lot of stuff you can do in here. It's absolutely fantastic. You can change all the, almost all the camera settings. Okay, for some reason, it's not always, it's not always working. Uh, it chips out and chips back in. It might be the strength of my hotspot, which is from my phone. So maybe a, a dedicated wireless router would work. Maybe. In which case I might invest in one, we'll see if it's necessary, how often I'm going to use it. But this by itself is absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. So what I was doing is, is, is um, trying to control two cameras but using two different phones. And uh, it was just futile. What I wish could happen was if, if you could keep all three of them on the screen if you could keep all three, of, what I wish could happen was if you could keep all three of them on the screen and still control different things, like the focus and so on, that would be amazing, absolutely amazing. But it looks like as soon as you tap something or tap one of the, the screens, it goes to that camera. Which is not a terrible thing. It comes right back. It's not a terrible thing. But... You tap that one, say I wanted to change focus on here, which is what I was doing with the phones. It's just quickly changing focus and changing different things. Right, which was a pain to do. Absolute pain. Absolute pain to do. But, okay, and there it is, it changes. All right, take it easy.